Good morning. How's it going? Right. Today, we've come to a place called Booth's Town, just uh, near Lee, Manchester area. Uh, we're near a pub called The Moorings, and today it's AJ's, AJ Magnet Fishing underscore. Uh, it's his pick, AJ's, AJ's pick. Uh, lovely little marina. You've got the pub over there, and then where all the boats are moored up over there in the background. Marvellous. Loads of opportunities today, hopefully. Uh, again, already, Tracy and Alan, they're here, all, they're here already. AJ's just on the bridge over there as well. They're, uh, they're having a little play over there uh, to start off with. So I'm just going to have a little dip here on this side. We have got a, a little bit of an issue with the place is these metal sidings all the way down the canal. Uh, obviously for, to protect the barges more than anything on the sides of the canal to stop them uh, breaking down. So there's metal sidings everywhere so we're really going to have to watch what we're doing today with the magnets. If we start getting a big magnet stuck on these metal sidings it's going to be a nightmare to get them off. So we'll just have to be particularly uh, careful today and uh, see how it goes. Right then, so uh, let's get on with it. So. Sunday the 25th of July today I'm going to do I'm going to concentrate today on actually magnet fishing and not clearing everybody's rubbish up because it's not my pick today it's AJ's I'm going to make sure that he keeps emptying out buckets today instead it's his turn to get all up my either right I'm going to start off with my 200 my little scouter and then I'm going to go up to the beast and then up to the drag queen simple as that today I'm going to give it three three different goals, same area, and see what we get out. Right then. Okay, first chuck with the 200. Really piece of old uh, steel there, steel plate. Uh, really corroded, not sure what that's off. Bottom part of a tin as well and uh, a little magnetic rock so that was chuck number one chuck number two a couple of nails chuck number three another bottom part of a tin and a one pence piece as well first coin of the day with the 200 okay then so uh, I'll carry on with this now for about half an hour and uh, just have a little scout around, see if we can hit on onto any nice uh, solid objects, and then we'll uh, we'll upgrade to the next one up. Okay then. Right, the 200 has got a really old. Look at that chisel. Just look at the state of that. That is an absolute, really, really old. As you can see, it's uh, you still just see the shape of what the uh, there's a handle at this side with the chisel part at that side there, or uh, that has been in there a long time, a long time. And again, another nail on the end of that as well. Got a bottom part of a, a trolley, an old wheel. Sorry mate, can you get past there? No worries. Yeah, look, little plastic wheel there off something, some kind of trolley with a little rubber uh, tire on it, solid rubber tire, marvellous little bit of a pole not sure what that is don't think it's anything really another magnetic rock okay so I've had about half an hour 40 minutes there now still only the three of us here uh, myself AJ and Tracy and Alan obviously super driver uh, super chauffeur so now we're gonna get the beast in I was hitting quite a lot of things there then uh, as I was pulling my magnet across it was clamping onto things but obviously the 200 just not got that didn't enough power to to drag them out of the water so uh, let's get the beast out are we ready release the beast marvelous first first chuck in over there and the beast has just slapped onto something solid 
I'm putting me back into this one already. So the beast, the first chuck of the beast, he's got me a hard drive, a uh, Western Digital hard drive. Uh, what, uh, 200 gigabyte it is. There we go. Got a little one of them things. A uh, little bit of uh, metal, believe it or not. My magnet's got some metal. A little bit of sludge, you know. Is that a coin? I see. Right, don't tell anybody. The coins that I had last week, I threw a shed full in earlier on. We're not playing the game today, but I just thought, I'd not. we'll throw the coins in and see what happens. I've only got myself one of my coins, haven't I? I don't know. Get out. I'll throw it back in and let somebody else get it. Chuck number two with the beast, the big magnetic rock. Uh, chuck number three, uh, chuck number two, sorry. Looks like we've got part of a, some kind of fencing that's well corroded. Well corroded, that. A uh, couple of more nails as well. Got a little bit of metal again, a little cast or whatever it is, not sure what it is. Uh, and just a load of sludge. Right, so that's three chuck. I had three. I had three more better items with the two hundred than I did the five. Then what's going on? Right, switch it off now. And anything else? We'll put it back on. But it's uh, as you can just see on there. You just see some little numbers that are on here. Well, I've got a feeling it's for when you stamp things in the. Uh, post office when you've got a little stamper on it I think it is or I mean it could even be to be honest with you like a what they call when it tells you how many mileage you've got in your car the little dial thing that sits in the underneath you your speed thing speed thing dial thing 50 years old and I've not got a clue about cars I, I give up anyway it's got little dials on it there so could be one or the other. It's either a stamper or it's mileage gauge. We'll go for mileage gauge. Well, I like this one. This is quite. This is. I'm happy with this. So I've got myself a Stanley lock right. with an actual key. Oh, again, we're not even started yet. <laughs> it's a, Stan, a Stanley lock, as you can see there, but the key is actually still inside it. And it does turn. Uh, don't think it's unlocking, but it does. It does actually turn the key. The key's turning. So, oh yeah, it's open. Look at that! How good's that? That's a proper runner, that one. Yeah. Big Stanley. I like that. That looks uh, quite a, a strong lock. That. So if I can get the key out, oh, the keys come out as well. I'll get that key made, have another key made, uh, and that, really good find. I'm impressed with that. I love that. <laughs> Don't normally see that, do you, when you get the actual lock in itself like that? And that's a substantial lock, that, as well. So, that is definitely coming home with me, that one. Nice little find of the day. Hello! Marvellous! Right, so uh, we've got a few more people turned up now. I'll just give you a little quick run through who's here. Obviously the late starters are not here. Ryan and James, they you, you might as well wait till dinner time before they're going to show up. But we've got, over the far end, we've got Steve from uh, the Blackpool Magnetiers. He's came here today. And then uh, you've, all, you've got Dan, DS Magnet Fishing as normal. Uh, we've got Alistair, he's not got a channel yet, but he's getting there, I think. I think he's, he's, it won't be long before he starts to get himself a little channel, by the look of it. A few more bikers. All right, lads, all right, ladies. And uh, 
Along this side now, we've got uh, Tracer, which you've seen earlier on. Uh, William and Andrew, Leeds Magnetiers, they've joined us yet again today. I think they start. I think they love our company, to be honest with you. And then on the other side of the bridge, we've got the Bates Motel. Uh, we've got Tim, Suzanne, Michelle, and Billy Bong. They've uh, they've joined us as well. So uh, they're the team that's here up to now. Right, I'm going to do the shout outs first thing. This first thing, then I'm done because I keep forgetting, and I'm always doing them at the end of the day, and then I've got to put them in the middle of the video oh, right so the first one is to a, a couple uh, from uh, America called the real deal uh, they've got their own uh, little YouTube channel go and check them out uh, they've asked if they could have a little shout out today so the real deal uh, I was watching a couple of your videos very nice very nice you only got a few subscribers at the moment so get involved people check them out the real deal uh, they're from America. I think it's. Uh, All right, Evansville. Is it Arizona? I think they're from, or something like. I can't remember where they, they was from. George. 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 All the other team members seem to know who they are, besides me. But I don't know. Anyway, George, the real deal. All right, mate. Uh, the next one's to uh, a, a, a young chap. He is. Uh, he's just recently started magnet fishing. His name's Nigel. Uh, he, he's got a little group together called the North Ants Magnet Fishing. Uh, so, uh, Nigel, you'd like a little shout out as well, mate. No problem. Marvellous. There you go, pal. <laughs> Hope that makes your day, that does. Right, I'd just like to uh, have a big shout out as well to uh, my beautiful niece. Only got two nieces, both gorgeous, but Abigail, Abby Wabby Woo, Abigail Houlihan. She was 16 today. It's her 16th birthday today. She's grew up into an absolutely amazing young woman. She really has. So, uh, big shout out to, to Abby. And also, her very best friend, Olivia. The, the inseparable, the pair of them. Can't, can't, can't get a cigarette paper between the pair of them. That's how close they are anyway. Shout out to them too. Marvellous. I've had a good uh, hour there now with the beast. Same areas where I went over with the 200. So now I'm going to throw in the drag queen. You know the one? Big girl. And uh, let's see if, see what she can grab out. Right, so first chuck with the big girl. She's got herself a bit of a pipe there. Not sure what's going on with that one. Big piece of uh, steel, some small bracket of something, don't know what that is, and uh, no coins. Got plenty of buckets so all around to put all my rubbish in. Right then, so we've uh, had about an hour here and uh, it, it's getting a bit thin now on the ground with uh, things to find, even with the drag queen. She's not really pulling much out, so we're going to move along down towards where the marina is, uh, where that boat's just disappearing down there. Now we're just going to have a little throw around there instead and see what we can find around there. Opposite that, uh, the Moorings pub, I think. Just the other side of where Danny stands over there, so I think we'll go and see what's... Uh, See what that's like over there. Okay then. So, right opposite now, this pub, the moorings, and uh, oh, a bit shaky, but never mind, right? So, as you can see there now, I've just set myself up here, right on this corner. There's a couple of lads over there fishing. I guarantee we won't disturb them. They'll be catching more once we start throwing magnets in. So anyway, let's give this a go. Beast, straight away. See what goes on here. First chuck, we've got ourselves a little pen. Uh, kittywake.co.uk Kittywake canal, canal Cruises. It's nice. And a penny on the other side. Chuck number one.
Again, metal sidings. You've got to watch these metal sidings, you know. The magnets stick to it straight away. A little bit of a rusty bar there. Nothing else. Just a bit of rust. Chuck number two with the beast. Got yourself a... Uh, Nice mooring peg there. Lovely. A nice little hook on it there as well. I like that. Well, at least this is uh, this size is producing a little bit more than what where the bridge was. Okay, third chuck. Uh, another two pence. Another one penny. Another one penny. Plenty of push bikes today coming past. People with bikes. There's loads of them. Right, so I'll switch off now. And uh, as soon as I find anything else, as normal, I shall put it back on. Okay, so I've got a battery on one side, nice blue battery there. Not got a clue what it's off, but you can see, nice blue battery. And we've also got three pence this time on the magnet, lovely. Right. Topped off now, it's getting a little bit warm. I've only took it off really because the two lads are here now and they want to see me muscles. Hiya. Hiya. Here's the boys now. Not these two boys, obviously running, but these two here instead. The proper boys. The proper boys. The proper boys. We turn up here. Listen, it doesn't matter what time you turn up, because you're still only going to magnet fish for half an hour anyway, aren't you? Even if you'd have got here at seven o'clock. Pull a knife out, pull a gun out, and then start. That's all you need to do, don't you? Food, and then we're gone. Food. Have you got something sorted for today? I'm not eating. No. No? You said buses, didn't they? They did say they were going to sort buses out today. Well, I'll put it in the group, but no, that was just like a... A when and where sort of thing. I thought that was for today. No. We've not had out today. No, We've all waited. AJ was saying as well. He said so. I'm not having out doing that, mate. Well, let us down again, the boys. Never mind. Right. Bye, Hannah AJ. Let me just get my best back here in a minute. <coughs> right. I think I've found my biggest gas canister up to now. <coughs> biggest chav can. <coughs> How good's that? It's almost as high as me, that one. There we go. Marvellous. That is absolutely huge, that. The drag queen and the beast. It's an oxygen O2 for air. So uh, the girls or whoever's going to come for the scrap, we made up with this one. Absolutely made up. A man trying to open an umbrella. Okay, so standard mooring peg that you get, what I've had out earlier on. Then the big fat mooring peg. Look how thick that one is there, compared to that one. Look at that. Marvellous. Right then, so we've just had this little cheeky thing out and uh, we're going to see if it's a rider. Go on, Paul. Give it up for Paul. Going straight in there. No. Chains, chains done it. She's going. Go on. They're not moving. Go on. Go on, Paul. Can he turn around? Clean it up a bit. Get that. Give it a quick bang there, Paul. There you go. Bring, bring it forward a bit. Spring it. There, oh. Tenth gear. Try and change it over. She's going to change it over. Bike! 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 <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> you said the word. Marvellous! Mm. So, I've just had a can of lager out and it's called Carpacki Car Pack it or something. Looks like it's a Polish one or something like that, I'm not sure, but uh, if you just look at the front there, 9% Lago. I don't even think Tenant Super Strength 9%. That's some strong Lago, that I bet. Four cans of that and you're going to be on your back. So, uh, I've just had a really strange spoon. Uh, as you can see, the, the, uh, the, the shape of it, it's very, very shallow. So uh, if anybody knows what that type of spoon's used for, please put it down in the comments below. 
Uh, I've not a clue. I've never, I've never had one like that before, ever. So I don't know what, uh, don't know what it is. Oh, you're okay. Come on, you're all right. There's only, there's only about three thousand people watching you. You're all right. Don't worry. Oh, don't you worry. We're not. We're used to people walking past, joggers, strippers, all that lot. Everybody can walk past. We don't mind. You know, we thought it was a shoe on at first, but it's actually a spoon of some kind, but it's very shallow, so we're not we're not sure what it is. There's no markings on it to say if it's stainless steel or... Ice cream spoon. An ice cream spoon? Whoa, an ice cream? No? Yes? To go in there. To go in? Do you know what? Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. That's all. So we're going, we're going for an ice cream spoon, ladies and gentlemen. We think it could be an ice, ice cream spoon. Well, it's not, is it? No. No, it's I not. I say it's for putting your shoes on. <laughs> Shoe on? <laughs> for putting your shoes on? I'm not having that. Must have small feet for that. Not having that. But I tell you what, there's some, there's some weight in it. Where? From Harrods. From Harrods. Think it's a day posh one? Shoe on from Harrods. Shoe on from Harrods. That's, that's what Steve from the Blackpool Magneteers says. <laughs> hey, look who's here. Brian, say hello. Hey, I've turned up for last, mate. I'm sorry I've got an old top. I've run out of clothes, but Paul's going to borrow me one of his. I tell there. you what, I think you look absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for that. I have got some tops in there if you want to borrow one. I don't want to borrow a top because I'll have a lovely nips over there. That's it. But uh, Nips out. Anyway. Nips out. I've nips out you. Sunday. I've missed you. He's all right, isn't he? I've missed you. I really have. <laughs> What the football's been on. <laughs> right, we're going to get back to serious stuff here now. Yeah. So, I've been throwing the 500, I've been throwing the drag queen, right, and I just thought, you know what, let's just get the 200 back out again. My, my shoulder's hurting me, right? Look what the little scout's just got out. Little shotgun cartridge. Huh? Hey, how good's that? And on the other side, a female's heel off a, a female's shoe. Marvellous. Right then, so for a bonus question today on my magnet vlog, who is this guy on my t-shirt? Because a couple of young lads, certain Ryan and James, didn't have a clue. So if you know who this is, please put it down in the comments below. So the 200 is still finding stuff. Look at that little fishy lure. Look at that. That's a little belt to that, isn't it? Still in good condition, that as well. Nice little wire trace on it. So again, the, the 200, it's, I think what's happening is it's skimming across the top now, the 200, and it's just getting all the stuff that all the big heavy metal uh, magnets are missing. So, I like that. Look at that. That's a little belt. I've had quite a few lures today as well, to be honest with you. I bet I've had about seven, but up to now, that's probably me. The nicest one that I've had. Lovely. Dan's going. Aren't you, mate? Hi. Don't say so that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> right, Dan's off now. He's had enough. He's got things to do. So, bye-bye, uh, Dan. Bye-bye, Dan. You're not going as well, are you, AJ? Bye, yeah, it's your, it's your pick. You've got to clear all the so, uh, all the rubbish. Gina, muddy waters. They're going now, but there's only been Gina actually throwing in. Look at the state of it again. Absolutely covered in mud. So, muddy waters fishing. They're going. Tra. 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 Didn't get to play with me magnet with me with thing again, did you? <laughs> Amy. Nobody's been touching my camera, I've been watching it like a hawk. So, as usual, last man standing. Everybody's gone. That way. Everybody's gone. That way. I'm going to have about another hour, probably. It's about six o'clock now, so I'll give it till seven o'clock. I think we've got most of the stuff out, to be honest, where we've been fishing, but uh, I'll give it a go, see what else we can find.
Right then, so it's uh, time to go home now. I've uh, I've had a good couple of hours here. Everybody's gone home now, so uh, just started uh, wrap up. Nearly forgot to do me uh, exit, <laughs> but never mind. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody, for uh, watching as normal. And if you'd like to subscribe, share it, press the bell, do all the normal stuff. Uh, don't forget to uh, look at everybody else's video from today. You know who we've had today. I'll put all the normal words up and everything like that. So, uh, I love you, brother. I love you too, Bri. Bri Splosh, he was one of the only ones who stayed late with me here. Stayed late, right till the death. So anyway, that's it. Uh, see you next week. Thank you very much for watching. And take it easy.